Hey, I'm Luke with Pacific Solar and Rain, and we just installed a solar thermal system here. And I just wanted to give you an overview of how a solar thermal system works. This is a 4x8 solar thermal collector. The difference between solar thermal and solar electric is that inside of this panel is basically a box, aluminum box with a piece of glass on top. They have pipes in it that the heat exchanger fluid run in. So the sun actually heats the fluid, which in turn heats the water in your water heater. This collector here is made by Sun Earth, which is a company in California, so another American-made product. We mounted the collector to a standing seam roof, which is metal. Uh, we have these special clips here, the S5 clip, which mounts directly to the standing seam here. You can see the difference in the color right here. We have to spray it with a galvanized paint so there's no interruption in the uh, the metals so there's no rusting we put a piece of unistrut that spans to the other foot that's on the other side of the collector and then the collector has a rail system here that the the, the clip clips the rail to the to the strut Over here is where the fluid actually comes into the collector. As the fluid gets hot, it rises to the top and then comes out up here. This is where our pipes go into the roof. Typically, this would be going into an attic. In this particular application, it's a vaulted ceiling. There's no attic space inside of the house. So that's why the pipe is running up under the collector, the inlet pipe, instead of into the roof. Typically that pipe would just go straight into the roof and get a lot cleaner installation. But because there's no attic here, we had to pipe it back over to here. We'll show you the pipe run into the house. These are um, the pipe flashings where the pipes actually go into the metal roof. You can see the caulking and rubber. It's, it's typical for um, a pipe flashing on a roof or like a vent pipe or something like that. Like I said, this installation doesn't have an attic, so we had to bring the pipes through the uh, side of the roof and then into back into the house. So you can see this is the supply, this is the return, and then it's gonna go into this line set cover. We use this just to give it a nice finished look on the exterior of the house. It goes into the, uh, the building right here through the brick. Inside of the house, we're standing at the solar water heater. Um, this is all the solar storage tank and the backup heating source as well for the system. This is a single tank system. Solar systems come in two variations. One is a uh, two tank system and one's a single tank system. The two tank system would have a water heater as a backup heating source when the sun, for instance, when the sun isn't around and then a completely different solar storage tank, whereas this one has the two combined together. So just to talk to you a little bit about this water heater and help you understand how it works, and we'll kind of explain how they make it. Basically, this is just like a water heater at your house you have right now. It has a steel tank inside that's pressurized and it has the water that comes from the city before it you know, gets heated and goes to your showers and whatnot. When they make this tank, they take 120 feet of soft copper and wrap it around the inner tank of this. One end of that copper is here. They wrap it all around, and then it ends up right here. Of course, they then insulate it like they do a normal tank. This one has two inches of foam insulation, and they put your white metal jacketing on the outside to give it a nice finished look. This is where the fluid comes in from the collectors. And this is where the fluid comes out of the heat exchanger and back up to the collectors. So these are our pipes coming in from outside like we just looked at. Right here we have an element. Like I said, this tank has your backup heating source as well as your solar storage uh, tank in it as well. So from here up, we have water that is heated by electrical element, 240 volt. AC just like your normal water heater would be. Below that we have the heat exchanger. So this, the sun heats up part of this tank and then the other portion of it is heated up by the backup water heat. For instance, 
in times of low solar radiation, the, the, the backup element takes care of your hot water needs. You're never without with a solar system, regardless if it's a two tank system or a single tank system. Down here, you can see this wire. This wire is a sensor that runs into the tank and measures the temperature in the bottom of the tank. We also have a solar uh, sensor on the roof that measures the temperature on the roof. And how this system knows when to run is it has a differential temperature controller. So it works on a temperature differential. So when the sensor on the roof measures 15 degrees more than the sensor in the bottom of this tank, the controller tells the pump to turn on and sends the hot fluid down into the heat exchanger, heating the heat exchanger, and then back to the roof. Right here we have the pump, we have a pressure gauge, and we have a flow meter. So there's a couple of different ways to tell if the system's working properly. The uh, pressure gauge will be within the, the range of it. Uh, we, we've set this one at 20 PSI. We've added this um, tempering valve. So what this valve does is it mixes cold water with really hot water to get a mixed temperature water that never exceeds um, well in this case 120 degrees which is safe for you know water fixture water um, for showers and faucets and stuff so like I said this tank will get water in it to 160 degrees not just the fluid coming off the roof but the actual uh, water that you're gonna take a shower in in here comes at 160 degrees so we want to mix that down so when it comes to the faucets nobody gets scalded it's it's just a safety precaution the tank is did. sitting on a pad which in this case the house is on a slab so we don't want any heat loss from the bottom of the tank into the slab so there's a there's a water heater pad there in this case we just made one out of some rigid foam board that we got at the hardware store and then your drip pan to keep any um, floor joists, um, anything like that from being damaged in the event that the tank did leak. Um, so that's a solar water heating system. Uh, you can find us at www.pacificsolarandrain.com.